it's always nice joining Dean down at Splash Rock. Kind of his backyard for many years. This is one of the iconic spots in the lower south coast, producing several different species throughout the year. Hey guys, we've had a couple of days of northeast down here on the lower south coast. Water is very, very cold. A little bit of a front has come through. And uh, we heard there's a couple of fish out today. There's been some sandies, some diamonds, and a lot of hound sharks. So uh, we're testing the new Saltiga 50HA. What a lovely reel. I'm gonna try and throw 150 meters and slide a big mackerel. I chose my 15 foot grind elite, paired with an 8,000 saltist for the day. We arrived a bit later and quite keen to get some baits in the water and see if we can join in the action. The northeast has been blowing for a couple of days before, but today it turned southwest, and the morning, like Dean mentioned, produced a couple of good fish for some of the anglers. We notice a whole bunch of bait shoals coming past every now and again, and some even in casting distance. Dean was quick to rig up with some usuries to try and get some of them on the hook. Earlier that morning, some of the other anglers a bit further down managed to get some mackerel and some bonito off the side. They definitely had an advantage to us having fresh bait like that in the water. The first few hours start off very slow and we're hoping that it would pick up as it got a bit later in the day. A lot of these deep water points can be treacherous and you need to know your footing like Dean clearly does on Splash Rock as well. Okay guys, uh, today we're just going to show you a a really good bait for these smooth hounds on the lower south coast. It's one that's been working really well. There's a lot of peckers around, so we try and throw a whole mackerel. The hound, for some reason, likes a whole bait, whole chocker, uh, whole mackerel, whole red eye. So there we got a beautiful Natal mackerel from the Kingfisher. What I've got here is a dangle made out of Dacron, and then obviously a little wire ring that we're going to clip our sinker to so that we can throw as far as we can to a little single swivel. Make sure your mackerel's pretty frozen. You want that bait to be nice and straight. All I'm gonna do is just nip the tail off. Throw that away. Make sure that mackerel's nice and straight. I'm just gonna measure here. That's almost perfect. And I've got a dingle dangle tool. Just gonna work my way all the way through the mackerel. Be very careful here because often if you push too hard you'll push that dangle through and push it into your hand. It's one way of spoiling your angling outing. I'm going to come out at the mouth like that. There we go. Come back through again. And then what I'm going to do, hold it. Uh, all the way back through where it came. Okay. Until we get to the top. Come out again. pull that through now just like that so what we're sitting with is the eye of the swivel there and what I've got here is a nice 7 circle look obviously the circle helps to hook that hound they can eat really shyly and the circle seriously increases your hookup rate and what I'm gonna do is go through there like that through the eye of the swivel so what that does is that keep that keeps that bait in place Okay, through the eye of the soil, that, 
Let's put it there. Ah, there we go. And then back through the, the head of the mackerel. Okay. Pull that tight. Just like that. Now what you can do, is you can just take a couple of winds of cotton. You want to wind it very neatly up. Very neatly wind that bait up. Don't wind on the eyes. You want those eyes to be nice and clear. A couple of winds of cotton on the top. And there you have it. A whole mackerel throw bait. Pecker proof. So Pecker's the only place he's going to try and get in is the bottom there. There's nowhere else he can get in there. And then obviously, when I clip and throw that bait, that bait is going to go together in the air like that. And when it lands, it'll just obviously unclip. And that's the bait you got. Beautiful whole mackerel. Dean was the first to get some interest on his bait. There we go, a little sandy. And look how smooth that new Dawa Saltigas drag is. Can't even hear it. Check that. Look how smooth that is. Quite strange, the sandies have been eating on the second day of the west on the south coast, which is not normal, but it's been happening quite a couple of times now. So maybe it's a new pattern they're following. Possible spots of where to land your fish should be considered before you hook any fish whatsoever. Dean, obviously very experienced on Splash Rock, knew exactly where to take a fish. Should it go left or should it go right? Joshua, also very competent on Splash Rock, was quick to go fetch Dean's fish. That's an awesome little uh, giant guitar fish. Small little boy. But uh, look at that circle, it's got him in the corner of the mouth. And uh, let's get the hook out, get a quick pick and put him back. Nice way to test the new Dawa Saltiga 50HA. What a beautiful reel. Eventually, I also had some interest on a whole cast mackerel. Yeah. 
Initially it got stuck and I suspected it could be a rock hard that wedged itself into the rocks. But the grinder elite made light work of wedging it out again. Now with rock hard the best way is to get them up to the surface as quick as possible and bring them in as quick as possible because they will just shoot right down again to wedge itself in the rocks. Little cat face rock hard. Nothing wrong. And again the circle have got him in the corner here. Yeah? Nice little cat face. Not a big one, they come big, yeah? Get some nice ones. As it got a bit darker, Joshua got the first smooth down bite. Unfortunately, it quickly pulled the whole mackerel off his tail. A bit of a slow afternoon, as was expected with the weather. 